Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to create um, a slope grid, which, you know, uh, there are a number of these tools that can calculate different topographic metrics over a landscape. Um, so this will, you know, similar approach will work for any of those. But I also, it's a, I want to talk about how to visualize that slope paired with a hillshade in a way that sort of helps us visualize that over the landscape. And so uh, there's another video on how to make a hillshade, but um, we have one in here. You can see this kind of gives us a better represent a visual representation of what the landscape looks like. Um, so we're going to pair that with slope. So the first thing we want to do is generate our slope grid. So I'm going to search for slope. You can see there's several slope tools. We want to use the spatial analyst one and input our raster here, uh, the digital elevation models. Now, it's very, very important if you have a hillshade or other stuff in here, you want the DEM, not the hillshade. The hillshade values are really just um, colors that associate that help us visualize the landscape. They don't have like an elevation associated with them. So the slope, if you generated slope from the hillshade, it would just be nonsense. Um, so our output raster, uh, our slope, we're going to call slope. And then the other important thing, we want to make sure we choose degree or percent rise, whichever one you want. So degree is the angle of the slope, percent rise is just the rise over the run times 100. So they're very different measures, and we want to make sure um, that we know which we're dealing with. And so let's say I'm going to choose percent. And one thing I'll often do is change the name, make it slope per, so we remind ourselves that it's in percent. And then with that set up, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to run. And this will take longer depending on how big your digital elevation model is. So this one's pretty small, but it is one meter resolution. So um, it takes a second. So you can see, we can see slope on the landscape. You get kind of a decent idea of what it looks like. Um, but what we can do is take this and give it some uh, transparency so that we can see the hill shade underneath. And what that'll allow us to do is kind of see what our position looks like in the landscape with that overlay of slope. So I'm going to turn the DEM off, just have the hill shade and the slope, and now I'm going to make this transparent. And it's a little buried, but um, if we right click, go to symbology, and then you'll see in the same place where you can change the color scheme, um, and we could do other color schemes, but we want to do format color scheme, and then we can change the transparency. So let's make the transparency, oh, I don't know, 30%. Let's see what that looks like. You can definitely see um, it gives us some context. Let's see if we can, let's make it a little bit more transparent. How about 70%. There we go. That looks neat. So now we can kind of get an idea of where we are in the landscape and what the slope looks like. So we can see that these um, hill slopes are really steep, et cetera. And so you can play around with different um, paths different color schemes that could make this more stark or allow you to see more detail, um, et cetera. And additionally, uh, this is actually pretty interesting to do even with um, elevation. 